Hi guys, Simply Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a wow video for you guys. For those of you who are new, wow simply means word of the week. And I'm doing this series here on my channel just to give you some encouragement and some motivation to share some scriptures or some songs or any message that would have stood out to me um, and even some of my testimonies and my experience on this spiritual or Christian journey, right? So today I want to share a testimony of something that happened recently and it is for me simply amazing at how God works and how God is so good. I just really, really had to share this with you guys. So in the morning, Hobby usually drops me to work. So he dropped me to work um, and then he usually comes back home. But this particular day, he did not come straight home. He was on the road, he came back, he picked me up. I can't remember if we came straight home from my work or if we had made any stops throughout the afternoon. But anyways, we got home probably after four, somewhere there, right? So he wanted to, to run a quick errand after he dropped me home, right? And I, um, so I would have gone in and he would have gone to come back. But I think something happened and he changed his mind. So he came he came in with me. We approached the main door to our house. And that was locked, right? You know, that was normal. We opened the door, we came down. So there was another door that um, we had to enter before we got inside, right? Apart from the first door. And I was I was approaching the door and then I saw the door open. Now there are two doors that are very close, one that leads outside, and there's another door that leads inside the actual house. Right? So the door that leads outside was open, and the door that leads in the house right next to that door was also open. And I got so scared. Thank God he didn't work out. The, the, the errand that he wanted to run didn't really work out. So he came up behind me. And he was there. He saw it the same time with me. And I was like, what is going on? And the first thing that entered my mind was that we got, our house got broken into. Right, that's the first thing that entered my mind. I was in state of shock. I stood there. I, I did not even want to go in the house. So, he walked in, and I stayed back a little bit with with a set of things in my hand. And we were very quiet when walking into the house. Right, and then. We were looking around to see what was going on. Of course, he's in front of me. And then when we looked by the kitchen, the back door was wide open. Guys, wide open. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm sh pretty sure they clean out this house today because I remembered when I left home, I was the last one to leave um, because he was waiting for me in the car and I remember I locked all the doors closed I closed everything nothing was open so I am like oh my goodness what is going on what is going on I was just so scared and stuff and then hubby is thinking he's thinking but we look in and we realize that everything was intact and then he told me that he came back home and apparently there was someone who was supposed to come and check something around the house for us right so that's when hubby he came back home after he had dropped me to work and I think 
he went to deal with the person so he opened the doors I guess to give the person access and then he probably went to deal with the person to talk with the person after they were finished outside of the house and in a hurry forgot to lock back all these doors I have never seen anything like this I was like how can you leave the doors open? What is going on? I could not believe it. I was, listen, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was crazy. But I kept looking around and I was telling him, okay, go look in the bathroom, go look in this room, whatever, because I am not going to be going in there next thing somebody in there hiding and stuff we were happy that the house wasn't broken into but then we had to think about okay so if the doors were left open like this then somebody could possibly have come into the house or somebody could still be in the house right so he went searching around he looked in every room and whatever and then he said okay it's safe listen guys i am so grateful I am so, so grateful for God's protection over our home, over our, just everything in our home and over our lives. I have never seen anything like that. And in this day and age, in this day and age, you cannot leave your doors wide open. That, that is unheard of right but where we are the doors are not facing the road so you would not have noticed it like it's not visible to people who are passing on the road to say that the house is open so thank you god i can't stop saying thank you lord for his protection and for keeping this this house safe and for preventing anything that could happen guys so many things so many things could have happened and god just protected us and protected our home and kept us safe now we we have some dogs in the yard because y'all know our um dog made puppies but you know like if somebody really wants to break it one little dog shot up at some puppies they're not gonna really stop them you understand so i know for sure that it is nothing but god's grace and mercy and protection over our home and i i really want to say thank you and i was reminded of the text from Psalms 91. The whole of Psalms 91 is a really beautiful text. But I'll just read a few verses for you guys to share them with you. Right? And then, okay, so I'll start from verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him. Will I trust? Verse 3, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And I, I see so many different texts there, but Lord Father, because thou hast made, verse 9 says, Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Here's my verse. Here's my verse. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. I don't know how people can say there isn't a God. That is just baffling to me. I know there is a God. And guys, I am so, 
Listen, one of the reasons why I I think this really kind of hit home for me or it meant so much to me is because if you were following me on Instagram you would have seen that one of my same the same dog puppy that we had last year who made puppy Sandy one of them was stolen a couple of weeks ago I think it was in April and we were all home that day and I know I know I know that puppy was stolen um, we kind of suspect something but we can't say for sure but we have never seen the puppy ever since so if someone could have stolen a puppy while we were all home and all the dogs all around the yard and all this that on the other who knows what could have happened here who knows what could have happened here so that really just made it sink in for me a bit more on on how things really are today um and really showed me that it's only god's grace that kept this place and i just want to give him praise and thanks right and i think it was just was it the day before i shared some stuff on my instagram about something to do with my health i actually have them in my insta stories and how god woke out something for me so if you want to see that testimony you can go on my insta stories and the highlights are there now with the testimony that i had with my health well, an aspect of my health i came up with the idea of doing something called testimony thursdays so i said i will do it not it doesn't have to be only on instagram but i want to start it there so but i started it on instagram where Every Thursday, I'm going to come on and try to probably share testimony of something that happened on that day or probably previously or anything. And I am encouraging you guys that, you know, for you to share with, with, with me and for you to share your testimony with others because sometimes people may be struggling and people may be losing hope and sometimes these little testimonies are what helps them to you know have hope again and to, to build up their trust and their faith in god it's really nice when we share our experiences with others so that they can see that god is alive and god is working and god can do the same thing for them right so i am encouraging you to share it with me i will let you guys know where i'm sharing it if i'm sharing it on my youtube channels or if i'm sharing it on facebook or if i will be sharing it instagram twitter any medium i have i can use it for sharing god's love and god's word just sharing god with others um because sometimes little things that happen to us and we we just sometimes we just be like or whatever that's coincidence no sometimes we take for granted the things that God has been blessing us with and keeping us from so I'm just encouraging you today guys to if you have a testimony come on and share it with others and I would really love to hear it now I would probably put up a picture um, on the Thursday you can post under it what is your testimony or you can share it on your own page whether it's a story whether it's a post on your feed anything any way you want to share you can probably just hashtag me I did create a hashtag um, so you can hashtag me at testimony Thursdays with simply natural or tag tag me which is simply natural on Instagram or on Facebook and I will see it and I will respond and I will share your testimony with others as well all right because sometimes we all need some encouragement on a daily basis 
so guys that's it for my word of the week this week and i am just thanking god for protection what has god done for you today let me know in the comment section below tell me one thing you are grateful for today one thing that god did for you today one thing that god blessed you with today let me know in the comment section below and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye